Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, June 4th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storms on us Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today's Apple news don't just come from the Worldwide Developer Conference, but also from the Objective by the Sea Conference. Patrick Wardle used Objective by the Sea in order to release details regarding a new vulnerability in Apple's latest operating system, macOS Mojave. This vulnerability actually allows attackers to bypass some of the restrictions being put in place about a year ago when Apple did announce macOS Mojave and some of these new security features. Applications now have to ask for permission to get access to sensitive components like the camera and the microphone. The way this is implemented is that there is a pop-up dialog and the user has to click OK. The problem that Apple had to overcome here was that there are also synthetic events, essentially applications clicking on dialog boxes. This is often used to automate some workflows. So what Apple did is that it prevented these synthetic clicks from affecting these security dialogs. However, well, uh, nothing is really all that easy. The problem that Apple ran into was that some legacy applications relied on that functionality. So Apple included a wide list of applications that were still able to send synthetic clicks to these security dialogues. What Patrick now found out is, well, if you listen to what I just said, pretty obvious and that what you can do now as an attacker is you can actually take one of these whitelisted applications and trick it into clicking on these security dialogues. And the result is that you're able to bypass all of these restrictions. At this point, there is no comment on this particular vulnerability from Apple. So we'll see if they come up with a fix for this in the next update. And when Microsoft released the Intel Microcode updates for the latest microarchitectural data sampling or MDS vulnerabilities, well, it did so originally only for the latest version of Windows. Microsoft has fixed that now and released these updates for older versions of Windows 10 going all the way back to the RTM, the release to manufacturing version of Windows 10, which was the first sort of publicly released version of Windows 10. With Windows 10, uh, Microsoft switched a little bit to a different scheme. Instead of having these service packs that it used to have, it now has uh, these uh, semi-annual updates. So make sure you're applying these updates uh, because uh, sometimes patches are at least first released for the latest update. And some of the semi-annual updates actually have fairly short end of service times. I don't think fake antivirus ever really went away, but we have certainly not heard much about it. Well, it turns out they no longer just show up in websites, they also show up in Microsoft games. Of course, a lot of applications have sort of switched to an advertisement funded uh, development model. And as a result, some of the advertisers that placed these ads on websites are now placing them right in these applications, including like in this case in Microsoft games. Aside from these fake antivirus applications, there appear to be a number of more or less fraudulent advertisements that are also infiltrating more and more of these platforms. Of course, a DNS based ad blocker is a good way to eliminate many of these ads. It looks like the Gantcrab ransomware is actually retiring. Of course, this uh, could just be a ploy to make people feel safe. Uh, we'll see, I guess, in a couple months if they're still around. But in a forum post, the authors bragged that they made about $2 billion in ransom payments and are essentially now retiring. 
We'll see if they will publish decryption keys. Some other similar malware has done that in some cases, but at this point, the only thing we have to go by is this forum post. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Don't forget, there is a webcast at 10.30 Eastern about new authentication standards. You'll find a link on the Storm Center page. That's it. And thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.